there is a very poor infrastructure here in South Africa in terms of the support systems that we have as young emerging fashion labels. It's just very important for me to have a sense of resilience and perseverance and to support one another in order to enriching our African landscape because it is very strong in terms of like the creatives but the support of it lacks in so many different ways and that goes down to politics and it goes far beyond funding as well. I mean, we have lack of textiles, you know, we have lack of machinery, we have lack of well-skilled laborers. It makes it very, very difficult to explore different techniques and working with beautiful fabrics that you see on the runway of Europe and New York City and Japan because we don't have those luxuries. So the only thing that we can do, well, I believe, is to remain consistent with producing collections but also producing viable businesses. It's really difficult, it really, really is, but it's been a very revealing experience because you realize that um, we're living in a world where everything is fast paced. It's fast music, it's fast food, it's fast fashion. And what Nicholas and I and many other local fashion designers are trying to do is bring that back home by creating good quality pieces that are authentic to us and are locally produced because once it's locally produced that's already empowering somebody else you're empowering a pattern maker you're empowering a seamstress you're empowering the suppliers that you buy your resources from and it, i believe that that constantly is going to create a cycle so the more people that buy into us in terms of local support from local customers the more that we can give back to that and then we can just constantly grow and grow and grow it is competitive when H&M and Zara and all of those big retailers came down, but it's more of a challenge for us to kind of show that when someone buys our product, they feel special in it and they want it. And Absolutely. It's just trying to figure out how can the government or how mm. can some proper fashion council in South Africa really nurture designers. If there's not yeah. a big market for um, young designers selling their clothes, so if you asked me, am I going to start a label five years ago, I would have said no, because there's no real opportunities Absolutely. internationally. And I think that's why there hasn't been a lot of people selling in outlets, because there is no outlet. There's no home. So it just makes it very difficult for the consumer to support local design because they don't know where to buy it. Even though it's a costly experience or process, it is down to the core it is worth it.